Celeste, get down. Oh my gosh, off, come on. Celeste, get down. Oh my gosh, off, come on. doing, Cece? Are you stuck? Look at you. You're a Are you stuck? You're not supposed to. You turn the water on. Oh! Oh, God. No, no, don't make it off. Ah! Oh! Drink some water. <laughs> don't eat the, eat the corn, you goof. Yeah, both of them. Steak. Uh -huh. Steak. Um, no. Stop hitting my arm. Plus, you can put one piece in, not four at a time. Anyone that's interested in joining and starting their Thrive Experience now, as my crazy kid moves furniture in the kitchen. Um, starting their Thrive experience and um, get going and feeling amazing. Um, I have a huge, huge, huge promo. So today's the last day, midnight Eastern today. <laughs> Cece, you're here. You're live. Say hi. Cece, come here. I'll help you, kids. Um, and then I told you guys I was going to run a promo for the Steelers today. So anyone that's interested and ready to start their Thrive Experience, shoot me a message. <laughs> Celeste, come here. I'll help you. Come here, little stinker. Say hi. Hi. Do you have a red nose? We just came in from outside playing. Right? Say hi. Hi. Say wave. Hi. Hi. Do you want do you want Mickey? Mickey? Do you want cheese? Cheese? And Sophia. And Sophia? Alright, kid, you're going to the store with me. Alright, guys. So you saw my chaos here. Um, show me a message. I'd love to help you guys get started with your Thrive experience and um, get going. So show me a message. I want to help you out. Lori, I have plenty of brownies for you if Bella doesn't eat them all. She's already had two in the last 15 minutes. She loves them. So, um, they're the fudgy ones, too. Not too thick. Just right. Hi, Taylor. See, Taylor, we have all these brownies that Bella's been eating on you. You should have came over. Say hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Say, I miss you. I miss you. When you coming to see me? I think you can see me. Yeah, say, that's my bed head I just woke up to. <laughs> it's funny. You want mommy's water? Wash down that brownie. Say hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Lori. Oh, wait, she's taking a drink of her water. It's very important. I will, Sharon. Hi, Lori. Say hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> You're so cute.
Yo, what's up? Sorry it was taking me so long, but I'm back. Back at you with another topic. So this is one of the topics that I've been telling people that I plan to cover because a lot of people keep asking me about it, along with the Benadryl and a few other things that we haven't gotten to yet. So what's the rumor? I'm going to call it a rumor for now because it's basically unsubstantiated. There's almost no way for it to be substantiated unless, you know, it came up in the investigation or something, which we all know it didn't. Or if Shanann pointed it out as she did with regard to formula, as you'll see in the end of this episode and as she did with many things really like the locked in stuff you know showing everyone that the room had a key etc etc so i'm unveiling this section it's called watts prohibited and today we're gonna do exhibit one which is going to be h2 no related and basically long story short we're gonna cover whether or not the girls were restricted or limited or prohibited from fluid intake so with the what's prohibited section of my playlist i want to cover things that are kind of interrelated so something i've been kind of going through while i'm making these episodes is finding where like one thing ends and the other begins I've literally just dealt with that through this episode because i have another locked in video that's coming out um a there's a few things that i've discovered since i made that video and b since I made that video, I've argued with a lot of people about this particular theory and there's a couple of questions that I want to address just so that some of the theories that people tend to have about why the bathrooms were locked are kind of hammered in. So I guess I'll say that there are a few more nails that my hammer wants to smash on. So this episode is related to that in a sense and it's also related to the Munchausen series. So obviously being hydrated does have something to do with your health and your quality of life and everything. So this is going to be a section where not only do I conjecture on a few unsubstantiated theories or rumors, I guess we will say. So in this Watts prohibited section, there are a few topics that I do feel like are related to other topics on my channel, but they may also kind of stand on their own legs. So this is one of those videos because like I said, water intake has everything to do with your health, but it also is kind of a rumor on its own because, you know, I saw this floating around before it really became uh, more commonplace to even discuss medical child abuse with regard to this family. So another related topic and where I said I have problems figuring out where one episode begins and the other episode ends. And in fact, I actually make two episodes in one often mistakenly ended up having to split them, but... Moral of the story is that this is kind of related to the locked in video that I'm making and I seriously sat there and struggled sometimes deciphering where I was going to put one thing over the other. And that being because obviously we're going to have to dissect the whole bathroom issue because that is one of the nails that I want to hammer in. So now that we got all of the side notes out of the way, this episode is going to be about post and or events that are related to H2O, fluid intake, swimming, etc. Watts water, and it ain't Florida water. We got that Florida water, Bama, you know, flex. I mean, right now I have honeymoon waters right across the street from me, so I don't even know why I'm bragging about freaking Florida water, but moving on with our lives. So here <laughs> are the faces from this video, and I think that it's pretty obvious from this audio and from these pictures that Bella was trying to communicate with her mom that she can't do it, and she's really asking for help. And there's this piece where... Celeste walks up to her mom and I believe she's holding a cup. You can actually see it in the stove's reflection and Shanann says no, you can hold it. Obviously just kind of putting her off for the rest of the video. And after that Celeste goes and stands behind Bella and kind of cheers her on and is sort of yelling in frustration. You can tell that kind of just heightens Bella's anxiety about the situation.
the commentary accompanying this post from Shanann. The moment you tell your kid one too many times not to play with the water on the fridge, you let them learn for themselves. Hashtag I know bad mommy. Hashtag had to. Hashtag she stopped. Hashtag lesson learned. In the comments with this post, FR says, poor baby. Shanann says she learned her lesson, lol. This one was posted with the commentary, can't even clean plates off the table from dinner. The comments accompanying this post say, she wants to wash her hands by FR, her dad, which to me is almost like another comment, uh, like the one on Bella's haircutting picture where her parent is sort of explaining away something dumb she's just posted or something exposing that she's posted such as where the friend asks or the friend mentions that Bella's hair is getting really long since they've been in NC and her mom said it's because she trimmed it and Shanann pipes up and says I trim it once a month versus just kind of letting her mom defend her in a sense in that moment and I think maybe this is what FR is doing here I'm not sure maybe that's legitimately what he thought and it sort of would make sense because the commentary that's posted with the video actually said that she could not clean off the table without Celeste getting into something, which indicates they had just completed dinner or just finished eating, which is sort of more nefarious to me and kind of points out that she probably is legitimately thirsty. What we do know is that whether or not that's what his intention was, Shanann rebuffs it by saying she was drinking water from the faucet. So continuing on those comments, um, this person says Bella's face. Shanann says she was instigating it. The person says back she was looking like, oh crap, we got caught. Girl, you got your hands full, lol. Shanann says, Bella won't do these things, but she definitely lets Cece then screams, Mommy, Cece is doing dot dot dot, lol. The person responds, oh my god, I can't wait to see them. This person asks, how did you know to video this? Ooh, someone smelled a setup. And she says back, or Shanann says, Bella called me and told me Cece was in the sink. This person says, put two more in the mix and you could be the poster child for Thrive. What do we do before kids for entertainment? Shanann says, oh my god, I know. This person says, wish we could bottle that energy. She says, right? Speaking of Bella's face, she looked pretty surprised for someone who called her mom and told her to come. And speaking of using your kids for entertainment... You guys want to watch this? That's why we have kids. <laughs> Let's see out. You guys want to watch this? <laughs> That's why we have kids. So we can score them. CC don't like it. <laughs> CC loves it when she's not getting hit, but pretends. Totally why we have kids. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> 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 
Look at her curly hair. Open your mouth. <laughs> Mama's thriving. All right, no, 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 no. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having way too much fun right here. Pick your shirt up. Let me get your belly. Let me see your belly. Let's get CC. Open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your belly. Let me see your belly. Let me see your shirt. Does it say most likely to spend daddy's money? Bring her out. Come on, Cece. She's running. She don't want it. Oh no no! Are you on it, Cece? <laughs> oh, I love the laugh. Oh no no no! I got a phone. <laughs> Little turkey. I got my phone, kid. Bella. <laughs> I have my phone. <laughs> Having too much fun with the kiddos. Say hope you ready. I I No. <laughs> Let's see out. Oh. Open the door. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. No, don't save her. Alright guys, other than these contrasting faces here and other than the fluid intake, what kind of pissed me off in this video is that Shanann laughs at her. So it wasn't only embarrassing because the abruptness and the confusion, but mom laughs at her. But back to the fluid question, is this normal? I've never had a kid that needed their fluid intake monitor during meals. We've had a lot of sleepovers, etc, etc. I've never been instructed to do this. If this is normal, that's cool. It's not like I've seen everything or I know everything, so I'd like your feedback on this particular video. How do you feel about it? What's your take? What's your experience with kids who need these limitations during mealtime, etc, etc. Now, I don't know how much attention you were paying, but did you notice that tidbit where Chris says, drink your water? So Bella seems to be requesting some type of food or some different food or whatever it is she may be requesting here. And Chris tells her, drink your water. So the idea that she's a kid that needs her water intake limited during dinner is sort of irreconcilable with this video. So instead of solving this puzzle, I've merely added to it here. And for that, I do apologize. First thing I want to point out about this video is that Shanann actually says, oh, look at your red nose. Um, we just went outside. That's why our nose is so red. But the kids are totally sitting around with no shoes and no socks and 
eating brownies and they don't really look dressed for outside. And I think that my subscribers probably know where I'm going with this, but I've long talked about that red nose. And then of course we know that, you know, there's a pinching thing going on inside of the Watts home especially with regard to Celeste, it seems. Moving back though to our topic, why I showed you the length that I did of this portion of the video is to just kind of prove my point here. And something I noticed while I was re-watching it is that Bella didn't actually ask for the drink. So earlier she was eating brownie and she never actually asked for drink, but she says hello really sweetly. And then her mom says, do you want some of my water? So if you don't believe me when I say that that kid was in need of some water, Water, then go back and watch the video because she was thirsty and I found that kind of odd it was like um I can't imagine being that thirsty and you know being offered the drink instead of um asking or or you know doing something to initiate it like most kids would and she's so cute too she was so happy when she looked up from the drink and she was very happy to go back to saying hi to the person that her mom instructed her to adorable and also it goes along with what I was saying that it didn't seem that she was really terribly shy of the film as people say, I think that sort of similar to as she did with other members of her family, you know, maybe Bella was just kind of fed up with it um, at a certain point. The point being, she was super eager there and it was super adorable. And it seems to have a superpower when it comes to eating chocolate and not needing drink. Because I noticed in the Thanksgiving video, which is actually 20 minutes long, um, now granted, the kids could have had drink um, while they were at the table and we wouldn't know, but the entire 20 minute video, we don't see them with any drink. And it's kind of nefarious maybe that, you know, Celeste did go and pop off there to run in the bathroom at some point and then Shanann chases after her. But but Bella is eating chocolate chips the entire time. She's eating chocolate chip morsels. Some of the chalkiest chocolate that I've ever tried are chocolate chip morsels. So, and similar to that, this video sort of matched it. And again, it seems like she doesn't even request um, fluids. Could be nothing, I guess. And maybe some people just drink less, you know, I don't know. And another odd thing about this video is that um, Shanann actually was making an excuse for Bella and why she wasn't answering back to the instructions where she told her say hi or whatever. She says, oh, sorry, she's drinking her water. It's very important to her. And I don't know, I, I, you know, maybe it's me. I'm not sure, but that just seems like an odd statement, a really odd statement. I don't know. I'd say without all of the um, sink drinking, uh, faucet drinking, I don't know how fancy people say that. It is a faucet, my lord. <laughs> we just call it a sink for the drinking. <laughs> JK, we mostly just talk like normal human beings. Well, I mean, those of us from larger cities do. Look, I may speak bumpkin and I may talk with a southern accent, but I will not have enough shame in that to call it a faucet or a sofa. It's a couch. Is that country? I don't know. All right, back to the point. Further scrutiny of the kids at dinner time or photos where there's a table, photos of the Watts family at restaurants, unfortunately were insufficient in deciphering this particular query. Namely, because many of them include drinks and disclude drinks, and some of them even have one child having a sippy cup while the other has no drink or food. So here's a little collage of all the screenshots of little Celeste planking. It appears that a couple of them are now deleted, or at least one of them is now deleted, and I wanted to point out that earlier I had mentioned that that face that Bella made did not look like she had called her mother in or had told on her sister. In fact, oh bless her heart, she was holding her little arms up like in case Celeste would fall. Oh, that was so freaking sad. Okay, and then also that same day, Shanann posts another picture of Celeste in the bathroom planking again alone. And I seriously cannot communicate why exactly that's more nefarious to me, but it just seems worse that there were like multiple of these posts a day and that she tried to make up a story about Bella telling on her sister when in fact they were probably in the same plight together, but I don't know, could just be me again. 
So this post reads, a day in the life of Celeste. This morning, I caught her eating cereal out of the kitchen vent. Who knows how old? Then I caught her playing in the toilet water with a tea set. Then she was putting snow on the kitchen floor and licking it up. I'm so glad I thrive. Mood support, patience, toddler life, day in the life of Celeste, all under hashtags. Do you like the snow? Yeah. Let's see. Is that snow? Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. It's snow. Are you putting on your toes? Oh no. On the floor. Do you want to go play in the snow? It is cold, baby. Shut the door. I'm not cold. It is cold. It's cold. I know, baby. It's cold. So rub it on the door. Oh, you're putting it on your toes? It's cold. More. You want more? Yes. It's cold. I know it's cold. Okay, so thus far, I've let all of the vent food eating go. And that's because I've definitely heard every story in the world about a kid picking up an old blankety blank, whatever it may be, and eating it and generally making us parents feel like, oh my God, how long has it been since I've given you a snack? What the hell is wrong with my life? <laughs> but the toilet toilet, I can say without a doubt, I've never had a parent tell me this story, nor have I ever read a parent admitting such a thing until this case. As always, if you have a conflicting experience, I'm definitely going to need you to drop that one in the comments because wow. In this one, she claims that Celeste was mad because she was getting her milk after she asked for it. Things that make you go, hmm. So that is my two cents on the conjectures and the surmisations that I'm able to make from some of the unsubstantiated evidence. So all of these things on their own may have not have been as suspicious, but I think that together they're all a piece of twine braiding together to form a fairly tight rope. As we're climbing toward the end of that rope, I would like to address another thing that I feel gets watered down, and that is the girl's story. No victim deserves for their stories to be watered down so that the public can find it more easily digested. I think that that is becoming a particular note of interest where it regards true crime as a genre, and I think it pertains to our real life as well, because I know that I don't want a friend around me who is afraid to tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Hurt me with the truth. Don't tell me a lie. Have some courage. Say it like it is. Speak up. If you haven't learned from the Watts crimes that speaking up could help save lives, speaking up could intervene for a family, then you've been missing the point. This is the opportunity for Shanann and the girls to make a wrong right due to their tragic end is their last opportunity. I think it's only with their truths they're going to help the public. They're going to help us as a society. I think there are many, many, many out there like them. And those families and those that are like them are not being helped by the fan fiction. Henry David Thoreau said, rather than love, rather than money, than fame, give me truth.
Fahrrad fahren. Daddy, stop me! Stop me!